check, 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 mic check. It was Thursday before Easter. I remember having a full day and choir practice was going on at the church. And uh, I was trying to get everything ready for Easter, trying to make um, everything prepared and so we could be ready for our big Easter service. And I came to the church, 7 o'clock, 7.10, arrived here, and immediately I began to get to work and put the ladder up on top of the soffit to access the camera to change out the lens. And when I began to climb the ladder, once I got it into position, I felt it click, which I felt like, and I thought it was clicking into place. And um, I later found out that it wasn't clicking into place. As I got to the top of the soffit, the ladder decided to collapse and uh, I fell with the ladder about 10 feet face first and um, immediately when I fell I can't tell you what thoughts were going through my mind as I was falling I remember thinking okay <laughs> okay and then I fell and I remember getting up and immediately I noticed that I had broken my wrist and when the wrist was initially broken I went into ER, and of course, I was acting like a baby. I was praying, asking God to take away the pain, but it was um, the pain was still there. And they set the bone there in ER, and they sent me home. For the next week, I would be in and out of pain, but the pain would stop, and I was praying, I was believing, I had tons of faith. I knew that God was healing my wrist. And uh, the week later, I went in to see the surgeon to see if I would need surgery. They said I needed surgery, and uh, I was just believing that I wouldn't need surgery. I wasn't going to need the procedure that they were proposing needed to be done. And I was just accessing all the belief that I had. I knew it. I knew God was healing me. I knew it was going to be a miracle. I knew I wasn't going to need the surgery. And um, I go in Wednesday for surgery, and insurance didn't come through, so they postponed the surgery till Saturday, and then... I was like, okay, the Lord is postponing this because I'm not going to need surgery. He's healing this wrist. He's making it to where I don't need to have the surgery. And um, Saturday came along and they didn't call me for surgery. So insurance still hadn't gone through. And I felt like, okay, you know what? I need to get in and I need to get x-rays done so that way I can at least know that God is healing this wrist. I was in full faith believing that God was healing miraculous touch. And I go in on Tuesday and they put me up in a new splint because I was complaining about the splint um, being too loose. And so the whole purpose in me getting in to see the doctor was to get a new splint and to have x-rays done. When the doctor sees me after the x-rays, he looks at me and says, why didn't we have surgery earlier? And um, I told him, well, I, I tried, but insurance didn't come through. He says, well, this is bad. This is really bad. Uh, we need to have surgery. I know that we can't get you in until Saturday, but we're going to do emergency surgery tonight. Uh, so go ahead, go get everything ready. You come back here tonight for emergency surgery because we need to go ahead and fix this bone um, because it's in bad shape. And um, I asked him, I said, do you think that I will be able to use my wrist again? Do you think I will have full movement? Do you think that I will have the function of my fingers again? And will I have the function of my hand? And he looked at me, he says, well, with this kind of break, you will not. You will not have movement of your wrist. You will not have movement of your fingers um, to the extent that it was before the break. And immediately in that moment, all my faith, everything I've been praying, um, just went out the window. And I remember just putting my head on the pillow and just all hope lost. I just sank. 